Hi, y'all. If you're looking for a legit place to get cheap MT, go to dvdj.com and use code PAPBOY for an extra 10% off. Okay, guys, that's a big day. I know how much we all hate turning the ball over just because the game passed it to the wrong guy. So I've been just buried in my dungeon. I'm in the lab going to work on the pass targeting sliders. So I have now in my hands the best set for 2K20 uh, to make our passes actually go to the right guy. Because, you know, a lot of times doing an icon pass, I, I like to do them, but there's a lot of situations where it's just not really a viable option. Nice, so we need reliable passing settings. All right, here we are at the bottom of the controller settings. We have our pass target profile, which is what the game uses to decide where your pass is going to go when you press the pass button. Okay, and in order to make this decision, it's going to use these three factors down here. So when we set this, we're just telling the game how much influence we want each of those factors to have in that decision. And these are pretty self-explanatory. Direction is just where you're pointing your L stick. So how much do you want it to factor that in? Uh, distance is just how much do you want it to favor the closer teammate? And openness is how much do you want it to favor what the game perceives to be the more open teammate? Now let's deal with that one first because we're going to dispose of it. Uh, we're going to take this thing all the way down to one. Um, a lot of you guys may know how I feel about this. I, I like to make my own decisions, you know, strategize myself. But, you know, I still test this function just to see how it works. And not surprisingly, it really doesn't work. Uh, it's been that way since they put it in. And it, it definitely still struggles to anticipate. And it can lead to some pretty inexplicably dumb passes. And then other times when you have a high openness setting, you, you just see a lot of like pointless swinging of the ball, just passes that don't really accomplish much. So whatever case may be, it's just, it's just not good at, you know, identifying the best option. But the good news is we have brains, so hopefully we can do that. All right, so well, let's move on. Come up here to direction, which is going to be the one with the highest setting. This can be like our main factor because... I don't know, of course you want the game to pay attention to where you're pressing on your L stick and then pass it to the guy you're pointing at. Well, simple enough, but we can't stop there because what about all those situations where we have multiple teammates in the same general direction? That's when we need the proper balance between these two, direction and distance. Right, that balance there, that's what's going to allow us to reliably make those kind of routine passes to the closer guy. Right, but at the same time, if we're good at being precise with the L stick, we should be able to bypass the closer guy when we choose and successfully target teammates who are farther away. So where's the sweet spot? What settings are going to give us the right balance? That's what it's all about. And that's what I got. Okay, right here. It's direction 59, uh, distance 40, openness 1. That's definitely where it's at because... You know, if we were to go a little bit higher on distance, let's say, um, that's when the game, I don't know, it starts to like kind of grab some of those longer passes and redirect them a little bit to teammates who are closer. And then if we were to go the other way and add a little more to direction, that's when you'll start to be like, man, I, I was just trying to make a simple little pass. Why do you throw it all the way the hell over there? Uh, and I could definitely tell you that the game this year is just a little more likely to do that kind of thing. Uh, more so than it was last year. So we have to respond, right? We have to compensate for that by tilting the settings a little bit more towards distance. Now, since we're talking about our dude, you know, launching passes to parts unknown, uh, it's time to do a bonus setting, right? And that's going to be the skip pass. So with this function, if you don't know, you can hold down the pass button to make it do a longer pass aka a skip pass so the thing with this um it's good in theory and it's actually not quite as bad as it was last year but it's still just too damn sensitive right it still triggers too easily it's just too many times the game thinks that you're holding it down for some reason it thinks that you're trying to do a skip pass but really all you're doing is just pressing it hard to do a bullet pass it just struggles to differentiate between the two. So we're going to go ahead and disable it. It just 
creates more problems than it solves. All right, y'all, I think we did it. I mean, of course, this is, you know, this is 2K. We all know nothing's 100%, but disabling the skip pass, um, putting the passing settings at 59, 41, all the repetitions, all the testing I've done has definitely shown that that's what's going to get the most passes to their desired destination. And you know what? It's really more than that. It, 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 these just make the gameplay that it just feels more intuitive and, and it'll just flow more naturally. It's a lot more enjoyable when you have these set right. I know I'm already a lot more excited about playing the game. But now I want to hear from you guys, okay? Get in the comments, let me know what you think, how it's going for you, if you need anything. And before you go, don't forget to tap that like button. Uh, we're all about improving the game here, so the more likes it gets, the more the channel grows, the more I can do in the future to make the game even better. All right, and if you're on the same page with me, uh, subscribe, turn your notifications on if you haven't already. Because you don't want to miss it. We got defensive settings coming up next. Okay, so I hope to see all y'all there on the next edition of 2K with the Pap. What?